We are talking tabletop design and the future of the industry here at the HX Studio, and we're very happy to have with us Martin Hunt, founder of Queensberry Hunt, a tabletop design company. You, you are a designer, so we're happy to have you here and happy to hear your, your perspective of, of, of things, of some of the emerging trends in the business. I think in food service, certainly in uh, the smaller restaurants, the speciality restaurants, uh, restaurateurs are choosing from uh, some of the beautiful products that are available now from small potteries in retail. And I think the trend is not only are these restaurants using uh, these products and producing a lovely environment for the food, but that this will upscale into the hands of uh, the larger, uh, more important, and perhaps branded manufacturers over the next few years. So, so is it, the, I, I know the ambition, you could say, is really to get the materials used by the studio potter uh, really into the hands of, of, of big production. Yeah, so, so where in a major hotel chain you may in each hotel have four or five different uh, eating places, uh, one of which is probably a bistro or a tapas bar, and particularly in this area, uh, one is looking for things that are not the standard white plate. And uh, I think that is going to be very, very exciting. And we have uh, in, our, in my area of ceramics, 16 and a half thousand years of people making pottery to use and to cook in. 16 and a half thousand years, you'll see these in museums. And from all of this culture, there is a tremendous possibility that one can pick the cherries from those years and make them in a new way for us to have around us to eat off now. So you want more of the those kinds of things? You want to see more of those kinds of things? Do you I think would, that's the trend? I would, I would like the diversity of ceramics to be clearly uh, obvious, certainly in the food service industry, as it is in retail. Right. And we, we talked off camera too about this, but the, the way of serving food, the ways of serving food, uh, certainly becoming more diverse. And how does that fit into tabletop design? If you look at the normal menu anywhere in the world, it's often or mostly split into three parts. The first part's called antipasti order, starters, maybe mezze, could be even tapas. The second part is the main course, and the final bit is the sweets. Now in that first course are all these really delicious things that some people now may be saying, I'll have two of those not a great big main course, right? I'm watching my health, perhaps they look so lovely. Now, the food service via ceramics, glass, and other materials for that first one third of the menu is very exciting. Most of the objects are small, that you can serve a little tapas presentation right, they're, they're in. Not huge. And they're uh, nice. so they're cheap to make, they're simple to make. The problem is they're mostly made by people in small potteries in this country and around the world. And uh, our job, as I see it, is not to knock those people out of business, but to be able to lift some of the nicest qualities of the ceramic material, the color, the texture uh, that is so nice with food into a more quantity production category. So how can someone make more thoughtful decisions, if you will, when it comes to tabletop, and informed decisions when it comes to tabletop design? A lot of people choose from both food service retailers and, sorry, from retailers and also food service suppliers in parallel. I mean, I went to see a chef in a big hotel in Chicago at the time of the NRA fair and asked him if I could see all of the things he serves from in tableware. 
uh, which is vital to me as a designer. And at the end of the table, there were two or three objects, like a big French uh, soup casserole with a tall lid. I said, you didn't get that from a food service supplier, a ceramic supplier. He said, no, I got it across the road in Crate and Barrel. So people, even in big organizations, are choosing in parallel retail ceramic products that might have a particular quality as well as the perhaps more durable and well thought out food service suppliers products. Well we appreciate you being here and uh, offering those pointers and uh, some advice too for us. Thank you for stopping by the HX studio. Oh, it's, been it's, it's been a pleasure. Martin Hunt, founder of Queensberry Hunt. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you again next time here at the HX studio.